Alright, hello citizens of the Nigerverse, it is Niger once again, and this is going to be another wrestling review. So we are continuing our look at WrestleMania matches, and and this one, hun, uh, I'm glad I finally got around to getting to, but how did the, the new and improved Tribal Chief he do in his first WrestleMania outing, and what happens when he has to face not one, but two competitors gunning after his championship? Let's find out. I'm, of course, talking about WrestleMania 37, and uh, and that being the triple threat for the WWE Universal Championship between Roman Reigns, Edge, and Daniel Bryan. So, uh, as always, I'm not professional, not professional wrestling reviewer or analyst or anything like that, just a man who enjoys a good time, and I hey, had a really good time uh, I'm uh, with this match. I'm glad I finally got around to uh, getting it. Like, if you remember uh, from my... Uh, Bianca Belair and Sasha Banks review. Go check that out if you haven't already. Uh, I missed out on WrestleMania 37 because they were doing the two night and I didn't want to because I already missed the first night. I figured I wouldn't uh, stick around for the second night. But and, uh, what a mistake I made because apparently I did miss some gems. And so probably have to go back and watch the host. But without further ado, let's get right into it. If you've seen these reviews before, you kind of don't know how this works. If you haven't, I'm going to be talking about what I liked and disliked about the match. So starting with what I liked, I think the match showcased uh, all three guys really well, oh, and their kind of styles was coming together, <laughs> essentially. Uh, yeah, right off the bat, this this isn't going to factor into the score, but something I noticed is Roman still had uh, his uh, regular theme up to this point. He hadn't gotten his heel theme yet, and I uh, had actually forgotten that he hadn't had his heel theme yet. I forgot. It took them a little bit to actually give him a new theme song. Um, it sucks that his heel theme wasn't there in time for Mania, but, uh, but nevertheless, he does have his uh, regular theme here. Or I, I forgot. He, w he wouldn't actually... It, it was kind of jarring at first. I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. It took him a little bit. He actually... I don't think he got his... Uh, in fact, I don't think he got his like heel theme, like the theme we know him to have today, until, uh, until he... Uh, he put away Daniel Bryan for good, and Daniel Bryan, you know, left WWE and everything, but, uh, speaking of which, uh, it, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that, but, uh, yeah, so, it was a bit jarring, but, uh, interesting, nevertheless, but, yeah, so, Roman still has his regular theme, but, uh, but back to the match, uh, match, uh, showcasing all three guys pretty well, Daniel Bryan gets his, uh, gets his technical prowess in, as well as the sharp kicks and strikes and stuff, including nailing, uh, the double nailing the sets of kicks on edge and then roman reigns who are uh or there and uh like a edge on one side roman's on the other side uh and then uh dan ryan roman tries to evade but dan ryan still catches him with a sharp kick to the uh gun man those those things look like it hurt and i'm sure they definitely do but but uh dan ryan be able to get stuff in there edge can show his vicious side including a nailing a concerto to dan ryan and almost nailing a concerto to roman and we'll get to why that wasn't the case and Roman gained to show a lot of his power and his dominance and his Jey Uso. Yeah, Jey Uso. This was a uh, main event, Jey Uso. Oh, this was uh, during different times for these two cousins. But uh, Jey gets involved quite a bit. It, uh, it, and it, and uh, definitely takes some bullets for the tribal chief. Jey definitely put on his bumping shoes who's and took some hefty bullets for the tribal chief. I'm sure he was rewarded uh, very handsomely by uh, Roman for his efforts. Or, it's, or probably just scolded again, because that's how Roman does his cousins, apparently. But, but, uh, J but yeah, Jay, hey, um, he, and his no qualification is triple threat. And so Jay hey, could do it. He was taken out at first uh, by the uh, execution onto the steel steps, but then just came right back. Who's he think he is? Solo Sokoa? Uh, wh which is crazy. Like, these early title defenses before her solo, before even Jimmy uh, had a, uh, came back from his uh, injury. So, oh, uh, it's crazy to see these early defenses, just to see how different it was, and how it was just S. Roman and Jay for the time being, uh, before the Bloodline story involved all the, the other Uso, and well, the other Uso, but Solo has to go, essentially. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't even think Solo was in WWE yet. Like, he wasn't even in WWE or NXT yet, I don't think. Hang, hang, uh, that's that's crazy thing about how, but, uh, yeah, so Jay getting involved quite a bit. It's uh, it's how about Roman, including in saving Roman from getting his head bashed in uh, from the concerto. Oh, thanks, Jay. Hey, I hope you enjoy oh, yeah, Ro uh, I hope you enjoy Roman and nailing you with several spears at SummerSlam just a couple years later. But, uh, uh, yeah, so Jay, a saving Roman, saving uh, the Tribal Chief here. here but, 
had uh, had some also some cool like triple threat spots where they interact with each other, such as the aforementioned kicks, and then the moment where her Edge has the cross face locked in with the uh, with the leg of the chair hair, uh, as he did pr pretty much for the entire uh, for the entire bloodline. And but then. Uh, <clears throat> But then, of course, uh, Daniel Bryan also getting uh, the LaBelle lock in, so they have the double submission in until so Daniel Bryan, like, headbutts him out of it and stuff. Uh, and ultimately, Roman putting away his opponents, and you know what time it is. S stat smash him, stack him, pan him, stacking Daniel Bryan on, on top of Edge, or it might have been Edge on Daniel Bryan, uh, and then pinning them that way. Yes, that begat that meme of smash him, stack him, and pin him. Um, and, uh, and it's crazy, like, like I said, with the benefit of like with hindsight, it seemed kind of obvious that Roman would win this match. But back then, we weren't sure if Roman would get a long reign with the Universal Championship. We figured, oh, it's probably just a decent little reign, probably like a few months or so. But no, he would go on to hold it for, well, I don't, I don't know, probably a couple more years. Uh, so present day, hey, uh, hey, I wasn't, I did not think, like back then, I did not think Roman was winning this match. So when he did, it uh, obviously, you know, I saw the highlights and stuff. Uh, but when he did, it was surprising. But now with hindsight, now knowing that Edge slash Adam Copeland and Daniel Bryan slash Bryan Danielson uh, would be at AEW, it seemed kind of obvious that, at all, oh, of course, Roman's winning this match. But like, back then, and uh, that, that's why it is hindsight. I uh, I um, hate hate them there. They're uh, they're now in AEW, and of course them. Uh, uh, not hot, uh, getting the win there. Uh, in terms of what I didn't like, like that much, uh, I think a little too much, uh, offense from Jay. Like, uh, Jay definitely, he, he interfered quite a bit. It's, uh, it, man, you back then, Roman couldn't have a clean win, but, uh, but it did get a little annoying. And where it's like, oh, like, oh, he pretty much, like, handed Roman the match on the silver platter, essentially, so that did get it kind of annoying, but, uh, but them's the bloodline rule, rules in, Roman, of course, uh, first go on, on to hold, like I said, the Universal Championship pretty much till present day, and this was the, I think this like, the first, like, big, big test for Roman in this, uh, title reign, and like, ab like, after having, uh, disposed of his, uh, cousin Jay, ironically, before Jay, you know, came to his side and everything, and, and um, yeah, but, uh, of course, her Edge, it just made sense for Edge to be in this match because, you know, he won the Royal Rumble, Daniel Bryan was just in it because, as figure it out, I would, uh, although, oh, Roman and Daniel had fought at the Elimination Chamber, or, uh, with Edge as special guest referee, and then that didn't turn out so well, which I think is the main thing that we got the triple threat. But uh, we still got a solid match out of it, it's, so I'm not gonna complain there. But nevertheless, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please do me a favor uh, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, turn on post notifications so you, know, so you know every time I upload a video, so you can see as soon as it drops. And let me know in the comments what your thoughts on the match and my review. Did you like like the match? Did you like, like dislike my review of the match? Let me know. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.